What's up everyone? Good tonight here. Greetings and all that jazz. Today we're doing a review on a fun little piece, so EOTEX. A little bit of a notorious optic. They've made significantly significant improvements recently. Like four or five years ago. Don't quote me. I'm bad I'm bad with time frames. But EOTEC, this one in particular is the EXPS 3 tag 0. Now the E meaning EXTREME for the fact that it's got this quick release port and you press that button, you pull the lever and it comes off. EXTREME! Also the buttons are on the side so you can use it with a riser. EXTREME! Also there's that little night vision button that just makes the optic really low powered so you can use it with nods. In case you're not using a laser for some reason, EXTREME! So yeah, the E's in there for Extreme. So on um, that aside, the so EXPS three, three being the generation is the third one. So that's neat, and the zero meaning there's only a single dot in the little donut of death, the infamous donut of death. So EOTech, one of the favorite optics of my uh, the guy on my team, uh, Joker from back in the day. <clears throat> Even more interesting given all the uh, movies that came out. But back in the day, I'm talking 2014, 2015 timeframes, about what five, six years ago. He was a big fan of EOTech, despite the fact that they were going through, well I say he was, he is a big fan of EOTech, despite the fact they were going through that whole thermal drift uh, lawsuit. So um, yeah, as you might have known, EOTech had a thermal drift lawsuit, that hey, our thermal drift isn't that bad. Then you had like 12 MOA, <clears throat> which was pretty bad. I think it's like 0.5, between like 0.5 and 0 now that they fixed the problem. But back then... You aim in at something, you pull the trigger, and something behind you explodes, and you're like, oh, that's more than 0.5 MOA. So that was pretty intense. That wasn't a good time for anyone. It wasn't that bad. You're still missing targets like, what, 200 meters? You're shooting over here-ish. So not aim the target. Not good. So he was like, yeah, thermal drift. Going from hot to cold to cold to hot. You know, I think deserts like to do. Which, believe it or not, the Good Sir Knight did grow up in a desert, so I... Well, I didn't really know a lot about thermal drift, but going from hot to cold. Give the dog water at night, wake up in the morning, water's frozen, but it's getting hot out, and you're like, okay, really? And it never rains. So, all that fun stuff aside, we're talking EOTech, EXPS 3.3.1, I think he was back in the day, like the 2.0s and stuff. Three, oh, 1.0s. The issue has been resolved, but it was a big issue back in the day. Now, EOTechs, all that aside, are ultimately pro and I say this objectively, not subjectively, this is a well-known fact, they are the most artistic, aesthetically, not artistically, aesthetically pleasing optic on a gun. If you give them to Marines, it gets pretty, you know, artistic, but that's aside the point. So, very pleasing optic to look at, very pleasing optic to look through. Unless you have astigmatism, which a lot of people do. And a lot of people don't know they have it. I didn't know I had it until back in May when they finally gave me LASIK. I'm getting my LASIK done. I paid for it, by the way. They didn't give it to me. I paid for it. It was bought. Bought my LASIK. And they're checking my eyes. and like, bro, you've got really bad astigmatism. I was like, you know, I can't see farther than my hand, so I don't really know. Yeah, so I had astigmatism. Practically everyone has astigmatism. Now, astigmatism causes problems when you're using this fun thing called a holographic sight, which is why red dot sights are probably more popular. Not as sexy or useful, but far more popular, because if you have astigmatism, you're going to have a hard time seeing. And a lot of people with otherwise perfect eyesight aren't generally going to get LASIK to fix the problem. So, buttons. Let's talk about the buttons real quick. You got your up button, you got your down button. Press the down button once. It's got a lighting system from, like, what, 0 to 20. 20 being the brightest. It goes in incre increments of 2. So you press the button once, you're at 12, which you could have just rounded the numbers to 6. Would have been nice, because then everything's in a group of 10. But yeah, so basically 6. 12. Set it 12. It sets it 12, and you can adjust the lighting from there, and you move it up and down. Down sets it to auto off at 4 hours, up sets it to auto off at 8 hours. And you might think that's a long time, but you set your optic in case you're going to need it. And ultimately, the battery's going to last like 6 months to a year anyway, and you're generally going to swap it out every 6 months just to be safe, because... You don't want your optic to turn out, however, turn off in the middle of a firefight. However, 
If you turn it on and it's getting low, it will do a little blinky thing to let you know, hey, it's time to swap out your battery. battery. Even though it'll probably still last another three months, don't risk it. So those buttons, night vision button is the thing. So you press the button here once, and what happens is magic. Turns on the reticle. Where's my reticle? There we go. Yeah, there she is. My God, it's beautiful. So you got your reticle, and as you can see, the fun thing with holographic sights is if you move the optic away, the reticle maintains its size. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, so go, go, power reticle, and then you move it closer, and the reticle will appear to shrink. Come back. Come back. Yeah, see, it appears to shrink. So you get that same sizing, which is good, because within seven meters, you want to use the bottom part of the reticule to hit your target. And once you get past that, you're starting to aim towards the center. And then there's also some math between like 200 and 400 meters. You're hitting a bit high because bullets travel in trajectory like this, despite a uh, hit scan popular belief. Although if you played way too much PUBG, you might, you get the concept. Windage still sucks, but because of the fact that you can zoom in and the reticule doesn't change size, it makes this quite useful with the uh, G33 magnif 3x magnification. Flip that to the side and you can get a good zoomed in view on targets at a distance. You could probably still hit them without it. You're only shooting out to like 500 meters anyway, but having zoom doesn't necessarily hurt. It adds ounces, ounces add pounds, pounds add pain, but at the same time a little bit of magnification goes a long way. There's a pun in there somewhere, but I'm not going to dig it out. So, now do you mind, do you bear in mind, I am only using this on a airsoft gun because I live in a country where uh, real fun firearms are currently illegal and I'm still working my way on getting back to you. Freedom Town, which also has been infringing on the freedoms. There's a big Second Amendment issue going on. Things to bear in mind. This would be super illegal in the real steel version. Am I still going to get one? Oh, absolutely. For legal reasons, that's a joke. So, now that that's all covered, we got our fun little gat going here. And, uh, yeah, so, Eotech have come a long way. They have fixed the drift issue, and they are aesthetically pleasing. Now, they did also make a... Ooh, look, you can turn that way down, too. Ah, stock. Stop getting caught on the buttstock. Sling. You can actually turn that way down. Let's see how low can we get it. Do, 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 come back. This is way easier to do with your own set of eyes, I swear. Clicky, clicky, click. You can make that practically disappear. And then you could also make your EOTech brighter than the sun. Oh my Jesus. It doesn't look as bad with actual eyesight, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh, well, I could think of something good here. And when you're. When someone says, hey man, I think you uh, don't drive safely, versus when you see other drivers! Dump press both buttons, turns it off. So, cool optic, very neat, very beautiful optic. Unless you have astigmatism. If you have astigmatism, you can fix that with LASIK, or you can do anything, or do what most people do and just get another optic, different sight. I do believe there are people who buy, who discover they have astigmatism by buying EOTechs. I've read a few stories. He's like, yo, why is my EOTech reticule so blurry? And EOTech's like, bro, it looks fine. Also, Pro tip for a lot of you out there, if you don't know if your eyesight's jacked up or not, look at something through a camera. That's the big thing I could say. Like the camera I got right now, when I was uh, nearsighted, which I didn't get diagnosed until I was like 16, so yeah, life kind of sucked before that, and I didn't know why. Found out because my buddy, who had glasses, was always using his pair of binoculars. And when I looked through them, I had to adjust them a bunch to see anything clearly. I was like, wait, how come I've got to adjust these and you can see clear right off the get-go? Big brain time. So now with the advent of digital cameras and whatnot, you can look through a camera, and if something looks really clean and crisp and clear, and then you look at it with your eyes and it's all jacked up, camera's probably okay, is the moral of the story. Uh, what else do you got? You got your nice little shielded, guarded uh, adjusters in there for your elevation. And yeah, elevation windage. And once you get those zero, just don't touch them ever again, so they're good. Battery cap sits in there, it uses the CR134, your nice little well-known Surefire battery. You got your little lanyard here to make sure you don't lose it. 
tie that down with a screw. Now there is a lens cover I put on there that does not come with the EOTech, but they're also purchasable for like what, 10 bucks? And if you're using it for force on force, then keeping your optic safe, it'll still work if it's shattered or busted, but um, if you can make it not that way, then that's a uh, pretty Gucci. You got your little sticker on the side. I did all for the tan one, just cause tan's sexy. Can't go wrong with tan. Now my buttons are upside down. And yeah, ooh, that's glossy. But yeah, that's glossy. The actual optic itself is still pretty matte. Matte best. Also known as the best matte. So yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to Neotech. You get your little battery case, your hood. Uh, there's a lot of ways to know if your Neotech is fake. This is a real one. I've verified it via several websites. And it came with the EOTech box, so I mean, what more could you want? Who's gonna make a fake box? So yeah, that is your EOTech, everyone. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you're wondering, if you look at it through night vision and you have green tube nods, then yes, you can still get a green <laughs> reticule. Kind of, if you really want to, but ultimately, they do make a green reticule version for the XPS 2 Tac 0, I believe. And uh, yeah, Green is followed by the eye better, but you're going to burn through the batteries faster. It's using a little laser to create a bunch of diodes. And, uh, yeah, green also, it works better in the day, but you're going to burn your eyes out on the lowest settings at night. So there's a reason we're still using red. I would be tripping balls if that flag was green. I don't even know how that'd feel. I generally don't look at it through night vision tubes. I do think green is the superior color, but that flag looks good in red, and this optic reticule looks good in red. So that's everything I have for you guys today. If you have any comments or questions, well, again, I'm limited to Airsoft in my current predicament. In the future, I do plan on moving this over to an actual real steel firearm, at which point I can do a far more accurate review at greater distances. So we'll see what happens then. In the meantime, it works great for 6mm shelf-propelled projectiles, munitions, but you know, at some point we will get to the fun stuff. And uh, yeah, um, closing notes, Second Amendment is Gucci, otherwise you end up with toy rifles that you can shoot people with legally, I guess. That's the big thing, that's the big appeal of Airsoft. But you can't also defend your household effectively. Prison breaking in is probably not going to be wearing eye pro, but you would rather have the real oomph. Unlike the Lord's Caliber, Airsoft doesn't have stopping power. 9mm for life, baby. 556, five, cheers everyone, have a good day. See ya.